You can already get really overpowered early in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth thanks to special materia, for example, that creates this big shock blast around you. You can easily miss it. I want to go over other amazing upgrades without any story spoilers, of course, so let's go. First, I want to look at a really important setting that you should immediately turn on because there's namely a mini map that is hidden in the system and then gameplay settings. Here, you can namely change the compass for a way more convenient mini map to more easily locate everything and also use L1 when walking around because then the icons will appear in the world and this will make navigating the world overall much easier. And then let's head over to this tiny island over here that you can reach from the beach with your chocobo because here you can find a ton of resources but also the precision defense focus materia and this helps you perform the perfect block just when an enemy is about to strike and also lets those enemies drop on the floor this materia is key with red because when he blocks an attack you will fill the vengeance mode meter and when you then activate that you can way more easily stagger targets and also get access to the siphon fang a powerful attack that also gives you health back like red is really the most powerful early game character you can also equip weapon skills so that you will eventually unlock early on to get even more health back from the vengeance mode and use the sidewinder ability a ton especially on staggered enemies to watch them drop in no time now let's look at more amazing materia that is nice to get and for this we want to talk to Chad Lee who we will meet in rebirth for the first time at Bill's ranch you get here super early by following the main story and do that first because this will also unlock the chocobo like not smart to do open world activities before having Having your mount and then when talking to Chad Lee you can see the materia he has for sale and also buy the autocast materia immediately and if you give this to Arif and link it with the healing materia she will then when party members are low health heal them when she is able so when she has the ATB charge and the MP really nice so you don't have to worry about it yourself anymore and you get the healing materia by the way from the grasslands region Intel that you can probably already do at this point and it's overall smart to do all the VR challenges that are available. They don't take much time, it teach you some of the basics and all reward you with some nice materia that you then want to equip ASAP to level them all up. Like of course, always make sure that all the materia slots for each character are filled, especially after equipping new items that likely include more slots. Because then the AP at the end of a battle goes towards as many materia as possible. Even materia from characters that are not in your active party will still get the AP. You also want to get the fire and ice materia because it's basically two spells but for one materia slot so you have room for a different materia and also get the auto unique ability materia. Especially for Barret because this means that he will automatically do the overcharge when it's ready when you're not controlling him so his damage output will just increase a ton. But you can buy two and the other one is amazing for Tifa as she in combination with the materia will activate unbridled strength when she has the ATB charge. And this lets her deal more basic attack damage, but if you then often switch to her, you can also unleash the rise and fall, and especially the Omni Strike ability that will deal a ton of damage. So this makes Tifa also way stronger without having to actively control her that much. And you can, by the way, get all these materia by simply doing the open world activities in the grasslands, and don't worry, every region has their own points. They're only used for the materia, so just buy everything when you can. Another amazing materia you can just find in the world is over here on the map at the grasslands port so you will need to explore a bit further but this gives you the item master materia and that increases the effectiveness of items so i gave this to cloud and then when i wanted to use a potion he would do it to increase the effectiveness of the healing effect and when you reach Juno, the second open world, which is also early on, you want to get the item economizer materia from Chadley because this lets you use an item without the need of an ATB charge so you can make Cloud an even better item user. But really one of the best early unlocks you can get is the Titan Summon. If you played the first part of the 7 remake and uploaded that save to PS5, and also, if you played like the Integrate DLC, you can, via the System and DLC bonuses option, get access to some extra content, including summons. But Titan will be the first 4-star summon you can get, and his abilities in particular are insanely strong against any future boss you will encounter. So before you challenge him at Chadley, you want to go and look for 3 crystals in the grasslands that you see on the map over here. Like this will make the fight easier, and also when you then get him, you will get a brand new ability. 
ability. So you can find these locations by looking for these crystals. Hitting them will reveal like a path towards the cave. And then you will find the summon crystal there. Now we by the way have a guide with all the summons in the game. So check that out via the link in the video description if it's already up. And don't forget to subscribe by the way for way more 7 Rebirth videos. And a like of course on the video would be awesome as well. Now I told you about this electric blast that you trigger each time you fill an ATB charge. And it's a really nice ability to activate at the start of a fight. I do it with red and then quickly fill the ATB charges. Have this shock effect, deal damage to surrounding enemies, sometimes on a block. It's really great. So this ability is linked to the enemy skill materia that you should have at this point if you completed the VR challenges from Chadley I told you about. You get it from the known dine enemy and below that you find the blinded by light that unlocks this ability. But there are some extra requirements to be able to do this VR challenge like assess 16 unique enemies in the grasslands. So make sure you assess enemies often and find the enemy intel menu you can see if you missed any. You can also assess them in the VR challenges that will also count and here you can of course view the enemies you'll be fighting if you completed the challenge once. And we also need to complete the classified foe in the grasslands and this is a boss that you find after completing a lot of the life springs that you see right here. So I was just focused on doing everything on the map so then you will easily come across these locations and I now showed you enough that you can then complete to in the end get a call from Chadley with the location for the boss. Birds can sometimes lead you to these live springs by the way but overall they're easy to get and if you then go to the boss location over here you can defeat it. It's pretty manageable but to get the powerful plasma discharge skill you have to defeat the VR challenge blinded by light that is now available and then by equipping the enemy skill materia you can select this powerful ability. And I now put it as a shortcut and that's overall a really smart thing to do if you haven't already. Set everything as a shortcut so they can very easily activate it without slowing the game down all the time. It can also fire the settings and then gameplay settings go to command shortcuts and then with L2 and R2 you can immediately select the abilities from the shortcuts from your two party members without having to slow down the game either. And I put the Firebolt Blade for Cloud as a shortcut because it's really one of the best weapon abilities for Cloud in the game and you get it by equipping the Sleek Saber that you find very early on at the abandoned dock. Like you go here for the main story anyways so it's very hard to miss but you have to use the weapon often to then be able to use this ability when you find a different weapon. So make sure you unlock it for other weapons as well. It's really strong especially against human enemies and other targets that are weak against fire as you basically do a fire ability without spending the MP. And you can also find more of these free elemental abilities by spending SP and you do this at the bookshop and the purple vending machines that you find often. The purple notes here give elemental abilities that cost no MP and that can be nice to exploit the weaknesses even though the power of the ability itself is not that high. Synergy skills are also nice just to spam them with your partner and to build up ATB together and there are passive bonuses here as well that you can unlock and at any time you can reset these notes if you want. So you unlock SP by leveling up but also by going to the Moogles over here for example, complete their activity and they can buy books here that give new SP for certain characters and there are more Moogle vendors throughout the game that give you more of these books. You can also buy at the first Mogul Fender the HP up materia and that's really good because it gives you 30% extra health. So next to the books the accessories from the Moogles are also worth it but you need the Moogle metal currency for it and to get it you want to destroy as many of these boxes as you can. You can for example find them at the chest locations but they are a guaranteed drop by climbing the towers that you also need to complete in the open world. You will always get two if you destroy the boxes that you find on these towers. So do that and you get a lot of the Moogle metal currency. Of course subscribe for way more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tips. A like on the video would really help me out and check out the other tips video if it's already up by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.